The long-awaited introduction of the breathalyzer is soon to become a reality. Works and Transport Minister Conway but telling Thursday's post-cabinet meeting that the cabinet has identified two devices to be used here. One of the devices will be used in the field, while the other more credible ones will be lodged at police stations. As long as the field test gives an indication that a driver may be over the prescribed limit, the police officer can ask that driver or require him or her to go to a police station to do a much more detailed test using a more accurate device. And it is the measurements from the device in the police station that are used in court proceedings. The minister says the equipment to be used here are similar to what are being used in the United States. He says police officers are already being trained to use the equipment and soon they'll be put to use. The Breathalyzer Act will be proclaimed on Monday, the 16th of November 2009, and shortly thereafter, we will begin breathalyzer testing in Trinidad and Tobago. The minister says drivers who refuse to take tests can be deemed by police to be under the influence of alcohol. If you refuse, the way the Breathalyzer Act was drafted is that that is probable cause that you are driving over the limit. We're using the English approach to the law. He says the cost of the equipment is not exorbitant, although he said he could not state the exact sum. The field equipment will have removable mouthpieces so that no two people will use the same equipment.